So why do we care about the empirical rule for normal distributions at all? Why does it matter that we know the 68, 95, 99.7 rule? Well, we can solve problems like this to figure out um, what interval of time we would be looking at for different things. So Tyler runs a 400 meter dash. His finishing times are normally distributed with a mean of 76 seconds and a standard deviation of 25 seconds. 2.5, not 25. Using the empirical rule, determine the intervals of time that represent the middle 99.7% of his finishing times in the 400 meter race. So maybe he's wondering like, what is the, um, likely what is my time gonna be? It could be any of these, right? And 99.7% of the time he's gonna be within a certain um, speed, right? So first we, do, we can draw a picture. So here's our picture. Okay, so we have this picture. Our mean is 76, and our standard deviation is 2.5, which means 2.5 um, seconds this way is going to be one standard deviation away, and then another 2.5 seconds, and another 2.5 seconds. So this is one standard deviation. What these notations are, this means mu, this is the mean, right? This is a Greek letter mu, it means the mean. So the mean is here, and then this is the mean plus one standard deviation, the mean plus two standard deviations, the mean plus three standard deviations, and the mean minus one standard deviation. So we can see that we can just label our normal curve, here's our mean, and then our standard deviations, and then we want 99.7% of his times. Well, one standard deviation is 68%, two standard deviations is 95%, and three is 99.7%. Therefore, his times, 99.7% of his times are going to be somewhere in between 68.5 and 83.5.